Justine Salisbury, what are the KRC and ARC triangles and what are the differences between the two? It's an interesting question. I think I've talked about this before, but I, I couldn't find it. So, um, so I'm going to talk about it again and, uh, and just give a quick overview of this. I think I talked about it kind of too long the last time I discussed this. So we'll just be real short and to the point. There are two triangles. These are philosophical ideas in Scientology. One of them is the ARC triangle, which is affinity, reality, and communication. And those three component parts of this triangle are supposed to equal understanding. In other words, how much you understand something depends on how much affinity you have for it, how much reality you have of it, and how much you communicate or can communicate with it, whether it's another person, a subject, anything. The KRC triangle is knowledge, responsibility, and control, and it works the same way. Um, the knowledge, responsibility, and control is something that Hubbard uh, emphasizes in his policies as something very important for Scientology administrators and executives, more so than for um, life, you know, and, and living life. The ARC triangle, and it's not called the ARC triangle, it's called the ARC triangle, is used in Scientology often. Everything, everybody in Scientology gets, learns about the ARC triangle very early on. It's a very basic principle. And the idea is you can have a, a quantity of ARC, right? You can have varying quantities of this. So a lot of ARC, if you have a lot of ARC for something, you really understand it, you really like it, you really feel close to it. Whereas if you don't have a lot of ARC for something, or if there is an ARC break, right? There has been some kind of a, a, a symbolic break in affinity, reality, and communication then you don't want to be close to it, you don't want to like it, you don't want to have much to do with it, um, you don't know much about it, right? Um, and this is, a, this is a, a relative thing. Your ARC can go up and go down as you learn about things, as you interact with things. And so this is, um, it's, it's an interesting concept and there is some workability to it in that there are instances where you can use this information in such a way as to improve your relationships or communication or um, affinity or, you know, relative degree of liking or whatever with other people and other things, right? In other words, let's say you and another person find something in common that you both have, right? This is just standard human relationships 101, right? You find something that you have in common, you're able to communicate about that thing, and you like each other more as a result. Well, in Scientology, that would be interpreted as finding some common reality, they are part of the triangle, communicating about that common reality, and therefore your affinity for each other goes up, right? That's how this works. Um, and, and so, like I said, the result of this is supposed to be more understanding for the thing that you have more ARC for. And there are instances where this works and there's instances where it doesn't work. I'll talk about it in a future video series that I'll be doing um, next year in much greater detail. But for now, that's basically how those two things work.